Hey y'all! Welcome back to Mood Gossip. We hope you're ready for some really intense drama right now because while Austin McBroom might have defeated Bryce Hall in the ring, he has not been able to defeat his drama in his life. After all the rumors and after all the denials, the Ace family is now officially homeless. Yup, this is not a drill. It's the real deal and you shouldn't be surprised. They had it coming. The Ace family has been on a clown trip for far too long and now it might be too late. But before we get into the spicy drama, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all the drama we have for you. Whenever you think of Austin and Catherine McBroom, what comes to your mind? I don't know about you, but I think of the dumbest version of Bonnie and Clyde. Like Bonnie and Clyde reincarnated, but this time without their brains. Yes, no take backs here, you can quote me. Because what I'm thinking is, why else would any couple have three kids and let things get this bad? so bad that they are now practically homeless and waiting for eviction. That's one important question. Another important question is this. How can a family that has a YouTube channel with over 19 million subscribers screw up so badly that they are now practically homeless? The Ace family has officially lost their massive $10.1 million Los Angeles mansion. I don't know about you, but I smell stupidity and it's spread all over the carpet. So how did the McBrooms get themselves in such a messy situation? Well, you can trace this drama way back to March. That was the first time people got in on the gist that their mansion was up for foreclosure. When word got around in July that they were gonna lose their house, the Ace family shut down the rumors. Austin went on his IG story back then and posted a picture of his house along with this caption. Stop capping on me and my family's name. Ain't nobody getting evicted, ain't nobody moving. Stop believing everything you hear haters say on the internet. If we were moving, we definitely would have informed the world and made a video about it. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah, that's if you were moving, not getting evicted. However, the walls have finally closed in and there's nowhere to turn to. As of the 19th of October, the McBrooms no longer own the house. There was this video of an auction on the property. There was hardly anybody there and no one placed a bid on the house. So right now it's the bank's property. Right now, the McBrooms still have a small window period of grace. If they can pay off the rent before they get an eviction lawsuit, then they might be able to keep the house. So how did the McBrooms get this knee deep in trouble? Well, they are broke and I'm guessing it has everything to do with all the lawsuits they have on their plate. The most famous lawsuit is definitely the ones linked to the Social Gloves boxing event. That infamous TikTokers versus YouTubers boxing event that McBroom messed up so badly he's fighting legal battles months after the event? The T is Austin McBroom scammed everyone from investors to the boxers themselves. James Harden, the NBA superstar, has sued him for a pretty sum of $2.4 million. LiveX Live, the media company he partnered with to host the boxing show, are also suing him. They are seeking $100 million in damages. Taylor Holder and Nate Wyatt, both TikTokers and boxers in the Dumb Fest that was Social Gloves, are also suing him for $2 million and $500,000 respectively. And then there is Bryce Hall. His face and Austin's were the headlines of the disaster boxing event. Bryce has also sued Austin McBroom for the $5 million he was promised from participating in the show. According to him, Austin has been dodgy about the whole affair, and a recent video just proved his point. So Bryce posted a video on his YouTube channel titled, Jeff Confronted Austin McBroom to Fight. In the video, Jeff FaceTimes Austin, and when Jeff challenges him, he tells him to get his number from Bryce before cutting off. It's a dumb statement to make, but we know why he said that. Obviously, Jeff is trolling him, and no one wants to fight Austin. They want to beat him and collect the money he is owing them, and Jeff has promised Bryce that they'll get his $5 million out of McBroom. Now, if you thought that Austin was the only one in the family who had scam in their blood, sorry. Catherine is in on it too. She's had her fair share of scamming her fans and businesses. Back in February, she hosted a giveaway for Valentine's Day where she promised that the winners would win a Tesla. The rules asked people to like the photo on her Instagram page, follow her, and all of the accounts she followed, and tag two friends in the comments. She then tagged Austin's Instagram page for another chance to win. It turned out it was all cap because none of the winners she tagged posted a picture with the Tesla. Another time, she was sued by TBL Cosmetics, a beauty company. They said she signed a contract with them to be the face of one of the new premium skincare lines they were creating. However, the moment the company started making serious money, Catherine got greedy and conspired with some friends to take over the company. With the amount of drama that the McBrooms are currently in, I'm surprised how they are still able to talk smack on social media. When a fan called out Catherine on Snapchat for acting like the auction on their mansion was not a big deal, this was her response. 
I have not spoken about any of this publicly, but if I did, I think most of the hateful people that wish us pain and failure would feel very stupid for ever assuming the worst. It's just not fair how people can just assume that I don't pay my bills or something. But you don't, Catherine. You and your husband do not pay your bills, and that's why your landlord sued you back in July for $65,000. Y'all were not paying your $7,000 rent on time, and now y'all are not paying it at all. Sheesh. This is not what even pisses me off. What actually pisses me off is the fact that airheads like the McBrooms are giving perverts like Shane Dawson something to talk about. Yes, the Shane Dawson. Can you imagine Shane of all people poking fun at someone else's downfall? There's footage where he pretends like he saw Austin McBroom but couldn't remember his name, so he calls him Ace Family. The guy over there, and I'm like, is that the Ace Family? What's his name? Is his <laughs> name Ace Family? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yuck. Unsurprisingly, people have a lot to say about this whole drama. Not Shane Dawson. I'm talking about the auctioned house. One person spoke my mind. They said, I'm really just thinking of the kids. Another person wrote, Poor kids, they're the ones I feel sorry for. One person called out the family for what they are. She wrote, Yes, the scammer family is served justice. Praise be. And one person had jokes. Where can I donate moving boxes? Someone get her in touch with the McBrooms because they will definitely be needing them. And one person gave a solid summary to all the tea I just spilled in this session. She wrote, The social glove scam was definitely the final nail in the coffin. YouTubers should stick to making videos and living within their means because clearly he's not good with money and can't be a businessman. Well, I don't think he's going to be taking that advice or any of our advice till things get completely out of control. But what do you think? Do you think the McBrooms will become homeless or is this just one big misunderstanding? And what do you think is going to happen to their kids? Tell us in the comments below. And with that, we're done with this insane tea session. But wait, you know there will always be another drama and another tea to spill. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with all the drama that's about to go down. We'll see you next time with some more piping hot tea. Until then, 